Um, I'm an assistant professor at the University of Michigan. Um, and in terms of my background, I guess like I, I span a couple of different areas. Um, I'm in composition studies, but I look at the intersections between digital media studies and disability studies. Um, so I think going even narrower than that, I, I also do a lot of work and activism surrounding autism and the neurodiversity movement or neurological diversity. Um, and that's, I think, taken me a lot of interesting places and it's sort of, for me, blurred the line between the academic and the activist. Um, so I'm involved in a number of nonprofit um, and advocacy organizations like the Autistic Self-Advocacy Network and uh, the Autism National Committee. Um, so it's, it's been challenging but also rewarding and I think it's brought a lot to my scholarly life. just embarking now on my book project and so I've been working on a book perspectives and sort of mapping things out and it's going to be a digital book project um, and it's also going to be on autism and um, this idea that you know, in medical literature autism is considered an a rhetorical condition um, because autistic people according to medical practitioners and psychological research and things like that um, lack what's called a theory of mind, um, which is supposed to be the ability to recognize that other people have their own unique mental states. And so the way that this has trickled down into composition scholarship, which is you know rather unfortunate, is that you know, autistic people supposedly lack audience awareness and also lack self-awareness. Um, and so my book project, I hope, will counter some of this, and I'm particularly interested in online communities and how um, you know, both disability activism more generally, but autistic activism more specifically, really percolates in those spaces, um, given the communication affordances of online spaces. Um, that project, I, I feel like I've been working on two things since I've been here, though, so I've been doing that, but then I've also morphed into um, working on a shit professor say about access video. So, um, <laughs> long story short, that's, that project sort of started right before 4Cs because I was on an access happening panel. And so a bunch of us created this massive Google Doc where we were contributing lines of shitty things people had said to us. Um, and you know, over the course of four C's and CNW, several people contributed to this growing document. So I've been filming people say those lines here. <laughs> so if you want to <laughs> say a couple lines, you're welcome to. Sure. Um, but it's it's actually there are a lot of good actors in our midst. Um, it's it's been pretty surprising. Like Elaine Richardson was amazing. Um, so was so was Deborah Germain. She's very quiet, but. Um, Sat her, sit her in front of the camera, and it was just, she was really great. It's been a lot of fun. Um, it's been tiring, but fun. And I'm really glad I was able to come back for it. Um, having been a grad student at Ohio State, I used to sit in sometimes on DMAC, and I think it's a really productive space because everybody is frenetic and trying to get stuff done. So it's kind of contagious, which is a really good thing. Um, I've also just enjoyed seeing what other people are doing um, across the country, quite literally. Um, and I think that's always particularly exciting, so I feel like I always walk away feeling, I don't know, much, much more well-rounded as a person by being exposed to um, just some of the projects and concepts that other people are bringing. Melanie Ergo and I'm a visiting scholar at DMAC.